Today we're at S'more Southern Missouri Off-Road Ranch. We were there for the Missouri Fall Extravaganza. Come along Dude, with shit. us as we do Pee Wee's Crossing. This is Jeeping Mo. Just as you pull in, if you make a right and go through the main parking lot, you'll head over to where Pee Wee's Crossing takes off. You go through a small section and you'll eventually end up at a gate that they, I guess they locked the trail up in the evenings. But when you see the gate, you're on the right trail. Go through the gate and just keep following the trail along. Pee Wee's Crossing is a three on their scale. If you go out to Jeep's Badge of Honor app, they have it listed as a three to five. Most on, of the five is towards the end. For the most part, the trail winds back and forth across this, I'm gonna call it a little creek bed as it goes through there. But it's kind of nice, you get a little bit of flex out of the Jeep here and there. You know, as you, as you square up on some of these, just take them straight on, go through. The suspension will get a little bit of a workout. The trail will take you about 45 minutes to an hour. Take your time, it's great scenery. We were out there for the Missouri Fall Extravaganza. It was an event held by Show Me State Overlanding. It was a pretty good event. It was their first one. They did a great job putting it on. They had some other guided trails as well. We didn't go on any of those. I was wanting to get some footage and I didn't want to hold up the whole line stopping and getting footage here and there. So it was a good opportunity to go out on some of these other trails, get some footage. We did Pee Wee's Crossing about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. It was a much better experience this time. When we were out here last time, we had never taken a Jeep out. It was a brand new Jeep for us. Didn't know what to expect. There really wasn't nobody out there. So I did all the big no-nos by myself in an area I've never been. And we got through it got lucky in some spots but s'more is a good place to go out you know if you need help you can get it if you didn't bring somebody if you hang around you can definitely maybe go out with somebody so don't let that stop you especially when there's events when there's not well it's hard to say and as you can tell by the ringing of my phone in the video there is some cell service out here sometimes you wish there wasn't so here we're just going through the trail. It's kind of nice. We eventually meet up with a group of guys that were there wheeling it. And really great group. And uh, we finished a trail with them. And really good crew. You'll see them in a little bit. There's some nice little obstacles like this. Some little ledges you go off. Just take it easy as you go off of it. Just square up on it. For the most part, a stock Jeep can go through this whole course with a very little problem at all. Sit down, Duke. If you come the other way, obviously you got to climb over most of this. But even for a, a sport like this, it, most of this trail is not an obstacle at all. Just take your time, get through it. it won't be a problem. How you doing? You too, thank you.
came up on this group of, that we're trying to get up this little shelf coming in the opposite direction. They did a pretty good job climbing that. You know, most of those guys were on 35s. I'm guessing around a three to four inch lift. You know, luckily they're all Rubicons. They were dragging a little bit as they came over it, but they were doing a really good job spotting each other. We eventually finished the trail with this crew. Really great group of guys. I wish I could have got more information from them before we split up. He's climbing, he's climbing. Keep going. Give her just slow. Give her a little slow. You're going to start climbing and you'll be fine when you're free. See? I'm trying to save the whole time. You're good. What? He's climbing. He's climbing now. He's fine. Yeah, keep climbing. Yep. You're good. Just keep slowly climbing. You'll be all right. Yep. They did a great job getting up over that obstacle. One of these days I need to get down there and try coming the other direction, see how that works. A little leery without having lockers, but well, need to try it sometime. I love that Osmo Action camera. It does a great job of stabilization. You can see how that hood's rolling around and the camera stays fairly flat, you know, through the stabilization. I've tried using just my cell phone and well, that, those films are almost unwatchable. But it does a great job. If you compare the hood to the rest of the trail, it was worth our money. At the end of the trail, there's a huge hill climb. It's a lot steeper than it looks in the camera. You had to go over a couple little rocky edges. And you get, hang to the, you start out by hanging to the left, kind of snake up around it. The gentleman who was spot me did a great job. And I admit it, I killed it. It's a manual. Killed it a couple times going up this. But these guys would be quick work of it. And I appreciate the spot on this one. So just past where he's at, as you have to make that hard right-hand turn, there's a rock there. It's a pretty good-sized rock. You gotta watch when you go to turn. It's right at that level. It pitches you over a little bit and kind of exposes that door to that rock if you ain't careful. 
Just take it slow, have a good spotter, you'll be fine. If you're pretty new to wheeling and you're kind of uh, nervous or scared about it at all, you can always do the trail reverse, come down this big hill. And some of the other shelves you can go around if you want to. You wouldn't do that the very first time. There's no shame in that. Just take it easy. Coming down the hill, pretty simple. You've seen the rest of the trail leading up to this point. I'll point it out again how flat the camera makes this hill look. No, sir. But I wish I had some side view shots on this. You could see it's a pretty steep incline. I would say we're probably in the 25 to 30 degree range going up this. And a couple of the shelves is where I killed it. And that's, I'll say that's the one drawback of a manual. You either clutch in or clutch out. You can't sit there and slowly go over things. So. It's a little different with the manual, I'm not making excuses. I'm the one who picked it. I enjoy wheeling with it. It just adds a little different obstacle to it. And you can see that rock there on the right hand side as you come around there. That's what you have to avoid. But the gentleman who was spotting me did a great job. He buried with me while I killed it a couple times. I didn't show those, so just know that I did. I know it's jeeping Mo, but the gentleman who was wheeling this Toyota did a great job. That FJ went through all the obstacles with no issues, and he even did a few obstacles on a couple other courses that I didn't do. So kudos to him. He did a great job wheeling that thing. I didn't get any of these guys' contact info, so if you're one of this crew, reach out to me in the comments. Maybe we can meet up some other place and do some wheeling again. Once you get to the top, that's pretty much all of Pee Wee's Crossing. Up and around this corner is Ranch Road, I think it is. And then that takes you to wherever else you want to go. These guys went and did a V-notch pretty cool trail I'll show that some other time but if you enjoyed this video check out some of our other videos that will pop up here I always look forward to seeing you on the trail if I'm out there introduce yourself love to wheel with you until the next time this is Jeeping Mo I'll see you on the next adventure Mr. Duke. Duke, sit. <laughs>